All right, Coach, you're through four weeks now. Um, we'll kind of talk about the good and the bad we had this last weekend. Uh, had some interesting, kind of more open ball games. I guess they weren't as tight, but they still were. You had guys coming back, uh, comebacks this weekend, really. Yeah, you know, obviously, uh, you look at starting pitching, I thought Schaefer and Warren were, were really good again for us, uh, which he expected. Uh, Upton had, had some big moments he got out of there on Sunday, and uh, Kinsler, the freshman, bounced back really well. Bartley handled some things really well. So the starting pitching was there. Uh, I think this the story this week was also the back end. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're trying to figure out a few more back end pieces there in the bullpen. And uh, the guys did a good job of, of staying in the fight, you know, where they could scratch maybe one or two in the middle of the innings. And then, you know, made some comebacks, like you said, there at the end that made it interesting and, and got ball games that were four or five run ball games back to tighter one or two runs. And obviously then, you know, the mistakes were magnified in those situations. So it was good to see. Uh, after week four, I'll see um, some things are starting to kind of show a little bit more. Um, some guys are, are showing that they can be a little more consistent in their outings. Mm -hmm. Some guys are, are trying to be more consistent in what they're doing uh, at the plate. Um, you know, so offense finally got back going. I thought a little bit better on Sunday. Thought we kind of really got a routine there Friday and Saturday, just missing a lot of good pitches to hit. And uh, yeah, I think overall, I, I think it was another good week for us. We had a great weather, um, and, and we've had some elements to battle in, the, in a few weeks before that, so it was good to see you just kind of get out there and go do our deal. Through four weeks now, and obviously a large incoming class, I think the biggest obstacle maybe you face at this time is getting guys to buy in, learning how to play the lion way. And it kind of goes to a thing that you, you have instituted here for practice. It's called the teammate of the day, in which you – kind of point out the guy who, who really just the most bought in. And I think we can talk about a couple examples here. Um, Connor Manola had a two-homer day on Friday, but that that alone wasn't the reason why he was the teammate of the day. Can you kind of elaborate a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we talk about what does it mean to line up, right? It's more than just a phrase or, or just a signal we do. Um, it's something that started in baseball, and now also we've adopted as an entire athletic department and you know, um, we talk about the consistency of the, of the program and how we year in, year out, continue to, to do what we do and have so much success on the field uh, with different players, with different last names. And it's because, one, we, we identify the right guys on the front end to come in. And like I said, buy in. You know, you speak at different conventions and people ask different questions of, man, how do you do this or how do you do that? And some want the magic pill or the magic drill, so to speak. And in reality, all it is, is is getting those guys to truly buy in. And we talk about our offense, you know, what is – how to make our offense go and do what we do. Uh, there's execution to it, absolutely. There's going to be uh, hitting, absolutely. Uh, the two out RBI is going to be a big part of our offense, and um, being able to to obviously run the bases is going to be a big part of our offense. But we probably said the most, you know, single most important thing we need in our offense is the selflessness. And um, you know, hey man, just like you call a ball game on the pitching side, you call a ball game. On the flip side of that, from an offensive standpoint, and sometimes you can put takes in there where you feel like it's the right moment to do that, and then guys can't fight that. Uh, they can't look at it and, and get a pitch right down the middle. Um, so we, we you know, of course, we asked the freshman and at the post game, like, hey, who would be your teammate of the day? Um, <clears throat> and the guy, of course, said Connor. Well, why? Well, well, coach, he had two doubles and two home runs, and you know had a great day. And it's obvious, right? And I think everybody and fans and stands would see that. That'd be the player of the game. But more importantly, we talked about the reason he was a teammate of the day is because 3-0, I gave him take and didn't bat an eye at it. 3-1, gave him take, didn't bat an eye at it. And all of a sudden, 3-2, he gets another good pitch and puts a good swing on it, hits a home run. And that goes back into it, man. If if there's some doubts of, man, Coach, why did you give me take 3-1? It's such a good pitch to hit. Did you see how good that pitch was to hit? Um, it just doesn't work, man. And, and so for us, we have tried to formulate, you know, hey, man, sometimes it might be the player of the game. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it might be the one moment in the game. Sometimes it might be the guy on the bench that has done something to help us win that day and gain an advantage. Um, we want to to obviously glorify that, that, hey, man, everybody has a role. Nobody's bigger than the other man next to him in this team. Will there be All-Americans on this team? Absolutely. Will there be all-commerce players on this team? Absolutely. Um, there will be some accolades that, you know, will be individualized. Uh, but in that, we know we accomplish those through each other and being a team and being one unit. So uh, obviously you want to signify that. We give out the gold jersey in practices. We give out the gold jersey after, um, you know, inner squads. And I tell the guys, if nobody earned it that day, we're not going to just give it out and, and do a charity. If two guys earned it that day, then we'll give out two of the gold jerseys. So uh, there's a lot of value in that for us. I think guys are taking a ton of pride in that for us. And that's, 
who we are and what we are in, in lineup baseball, man. Uh, there's a lot of history before us. So guys took a lot of pride in laying that foundation of being selfless and being bought in and making this team and this university and this program go to what it is now. Um, those guys have got to stay committed to that as well to continue to grow this program. <laughs>